Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim, and today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the builds that we posted on our, our build section of the website. This is the TriBot. One of our goals when we created the, or redid the TetrixRobotics.com website was to create a build section that you folks could come to and get inspiration uh, and just some ideas on different builds that you could do with the, the Tetrix um, Prime sets and the Tetrix Max, set, Max sets. And so that's what we want to talk about today, one of the first builds that we posted. This is the TriBot, we're calling that. And one of the uh, unique things that we, we did with this, uh, with the Prime building set, was to use the angles. Uh, so when I was doing this, I, I really wanted to use the angle brackets in kind of a, a different way. Um, if you'll notice, there are a lot of robots out there that use a basic three-wheel design or a tribot design, but most of those are built on a, actually a square frame you don't actually see uh, a triangular shaped frame. Now, I say triangular, we're actually working with a trapezoid here, but uh, when you first look at it from above, the first thing you think of is a triangle. And uh, one of the unique structural uh, attributes of a triangle is the, the basic strength versus the square. So uh, there are some advantages to using that triangular shape when you can. So that was one of the things I wanted to do with the brackets, and so you can see that I'm using our 60 degree brackets and uh, with those I've got those set up so that I've got my uh, inside 60 degree angle and then I've reversed those on this end so that uh, I create with this uh, uh, straight uh, six hole beam on this end uh, a parallel structure to my cross beam here and this is actually then becomes a, a 120 degree angle from this side and this side but 60 on each side so I've created my triangular shape. Um, and again, that makes a very robust, very strong structure that the robot can then work on. And I've got my differential drive, two different drives for, or uh, motors that are driving the separate wheels. And then I have a basic pivot on the back that makes that a very maneuverable uh, robot when, when I begin to drive that. And I want to talk a little bit to you about the pivot on the back because what I've done with that is again, this is one of the early builds with Prime, and I wanted to see how easy it was to integrate one of the Max, Tetrix Max elements, and that would be the Omni wheel. Now, you can see that uh, all I've done here is I've replaced the, uh, on the Omni wheel, the, the little brass bushings. I've used the Prime brass bushings instead of the Max brass, bu brass bushings. And um, because of that, this, in essence, actually becomes a prime part. It goes right on the prime axle. I've used the, the prime mounting points there. And it really does then become a part of your prime set when you do that. And the advantage of an Omni wheel, um, when you pivot that across the back, is it rolls not only in this direction, but it also rolls in this direction on the rollers. And um, one of the unique... Uh, characteristics of an omni wheel I want to make sure I point out is you'll see that I actually have two omni wheels put together that are alternating the spacing of the rollers and what that does is that evens out the 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 circle because if I use just one of those I would have a flat spot in between those rollers and then when I double those up and I alternate those then that each one kind of compensates for that and that makes a very smooth rolling motion in this direction as well as this direction. So um, I've used that Omni wheel, complemented the, the prime element sets with that max element, created a very unique and uh, very versatile little platform for a basic tribot type design. Um, the other thing that I, I'd want to encourage you, this would probably be a very easy robot to actually uh, modify if you'd like. Um, with the, some very simple, uh, maybe changing these upright um, there to a little bit longer beam. You could probably put gearing in that and um, actually create a, a little bit more of a, a versatile robot with the kids to explore some of the gearing options, whether you gear that up or gear that down and see what the benefits of that in the, the driving characteristics. So this is the TriBot. 
Um, we hope that gives you some ideas on how you can use some of your components and build your own little unique uh, robots. Or actually, just go ahead and go to the build section, and there are instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, how to build this exact little robot. And you can see for yourself how it works. So uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got some ideas. And uh, go ahead and have a good day building those robots.